Hello everyone, my name is Cuthbert. I'm the PhD candidate under the Brew 21 program at NTNU. Today is my pleasure to present to you my research topics which entitle Data-Driven Reservoir Modeling. Before I go into the details of my research, I would like to brief you a little bit about the background of the research topic itself. So, Numerical Reservoir Simulations, NRS, is one of the conventional approach used to model the fluid flow in the petroleum reservoir. However, when it is used to solve the reservoir management issues, for example, production optimization, history matching, and uncertainty and quantifications, it suffers the computational issues. Therefore, data-driven reservoir modeling has been suggested as one of the alternative solutions to solve these issues. DDRM is chosen as the alternative approach because it can replicate the results within certain level of accuracy and also produce the result within a quicker manner. DDRM can also be alternatively known as proxy modeling. So there are several stage of the art approaches used to perform this proxy modeling or DDRM. It includes the response surface models and also the reduced order models. However, with the growth of digitalizations and technological advancement today, machine learning has also been suggested as another possible approach to perform these proxy modeling. This is because machine learning has been proven to be able to capture the non-linearity of relationships modeled. So one of the examples of uh, Machine learning is artificial neural network, and it will be mainly used in this, top, uh, in this topic to perform our tasks. So it is also important to realize that proxy modeling is an objective directed task, which means we need to know what the proxy is used for before we really go into the step of building it. So now I would like to present to you a case study that we have done in this research work. So, in this case studies, it is important for us to actually identify several questions before we actually proceed into designing the proxy models. So some of the introductions about the case study is that we are trying to develop an artificial neural networks which can act as the proxies of a reservoir simulations models. In this case, the simulations model that we are going to use is the well-known ACK model. And after building this NNN, we will couple it with a metaheuristic algorithm to optimize the water flooding process. So this whole work is trying to aim at reducing the computational footprints induced by NRS. So what the questions that we need to address is which reservoir to be used. So as I have mentioned just now, we are trying to use the ACK models. And the optimization problems that we are trying to formulate is the water flooding optimization pro process and after that we need to decide what how can the training data best be obtained and how to formulate the architecture of the edit and itself so these questions are very important for us to have a clear directions when we want to perform this modeling task so i'm going to present to you the workflow of the methodology that has been used in this research work so first, we need to identify the objective functions. In this case, we choose NPV, net present values, as the objective functions. Then, we have to also identify the decision variable needed to optimize this NPV. In this case, we have chosen the well control of the injections rates to be the decisions variables to be optimized. After we formulate the problems, we need to actually prepare the data by implementing the sampling techniques. In this case, we use Latin hypercube sampling techniques to actually create different scenarios in which we can build our database for the training of the proxy models. After we have prepared the data, we will be feeding the data back into the different machine learning models that we have discussed just now. And in this case, we use the artificial neural networks. So after the data-driven modeling has been done, and if it shows good results, then we will couple it with the metaheuristic algorithm, in which, in this case, we have chosen 
particle sum optimizations to do this optimization task. So basically, this is the general idea of the whole workflow that we have implemented in this work. After introducing the general workflow of the methodologies, now I would like to present to you the results and insight that we have obtained from this research work. After obtaining the optimal solution from the proxy models, we feedback these solutions to the reservoir simulators to obtain the corresponding results. As you can see that the results from the proxy models match nicely with the result from the simulators and we can say that they have a very close proximity in this case. Additionally, we can also see that the proxy models is running three times faster than the reservoir simulators when it comes to optimizations. And we, as we compare the optimized NPV, they are only in within 3% of percentage errors. So this shows that actually uh, our proxy models works really well in these problem settings. So when we come to the conclusions remarks, I would like to highlight that this research work mainly focuses on the applications of machine learning in developing a proxy models. It aims to solve reservoir management related issues, which is the production optimization underwater flooding in this case. And we have achieved our objective in terms of reductions of computational footprints and also achieve, achieving desired levels of accuracy. Of course, nothing is perfect in the world, so we are trying to integrate some improvements on the current approach for more mature use, for example, including several realizations in terms of proxy modelings. And we are also thinking of extending use for, food for other aspects of reservoir management, including CO2 ER and also carbon captures and storage CCS. Thank you very much for your attention. It is really my honor to have the opportunity to present my works to you. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.